Hey everybody, here's my pal for the day, Raf. Um, as you can see, he's been stealing my stuffed animals um, and slobbering all over them. But um, I just wanted to do a little bit of a review on chapter or what we've been doing since it's after break. And we, you're gonna have a quiz coming up next week. So let's go through a couple of stuff. As you can see, my desk here is just as messy as my desk is at home. But I wanna go through a few things. Let me get this lined up really well that are gonna kind of review what we've been doing, okay? All right, so we're talking about constant of proportionality through everything. So what you need to know is this stuff. So kind of a basic overall, then we'll go through a couple of the homework problems that I noticed you guys had trouble with, okay? So first of all, a constant of proportionality. I want you to know what it means. Okay, it sounds a lot harder than it is. I'll be totally honest. The wording is way harder than it really is. What it means is it is always, okay, no matter what the letters are, okay, even if I use distance and time, D and T, but it's always Y over X. So when I graph it, you know what that y-axis is and the x-axis is, okay? And I'll show you that in a second. So on a graph, it's always y over x. So if I give you an ordered pair, if I had um, the pair 5, 8, and it's a proportional relationship, the constant of proportionality, or k, remember that's what it's called, would be 8 over 5, okay? So it is always y over x. This is always your x coordinate, this is always your y coordinate. Okay, so that's what you need to know. It is always y over x. That's the thing I think most of you are having trouble. It's just, it's an easier concept than um, kind of what it sounds like. So in the equation, y equals kx, okay? This is also your um, coefficient, but that's what your k is. Okay, so it's always your coefficient of x. Whatever you multiply x by to get to y, that's what k is. What you need to know is that this is a proportional relationship. Something like this, so if I have y equals 3x, that's proportional, okay? That means for every 1x I go, I go up 3y, okay? What is not proportional is if I had y equals 3x plus 7, let's say. This is not proportional. I can't add or subtract anything to that number, okay? So the only time I can have a proportional relationship is if I have something that has a coefficient. This would be proportional because my k would be 1 7th because 1 7th times x is x over 7, okay? So these are proportional. These are not proportional. So anything that has a plus or a minus with it is not proportional in an equation, okay? So that's one thing I want you to keep in mind. In a table, okay, so this is if they're equations. If you have a table, so let's say I've got a table that says, and I'm gonna use distance and time, okay? So if I have distance, my time is my x, my distance is my y, the reason I would know that is because this came first. Okay, so let's say it takes me um, three minutes to go 12 miles. Let's we'll say those are miles, these are minutes, okay? It takes me 12 minutes to go 48 miles. It takes me 16 minutes to go 64 miles. Is this proportional? Okay, so the question would be, would that be proportional? Well, I could find out if all of my y over x's are the same. So is 12 over 3 this y over this x? Even though this would be a t and this would be a d, it's still y over x. We just think about it in terms of one variable, okay? Is that equal to 48 over 12? And is that equal to 64 over 16? I have to check every single point on here, okay? So if I do 12 divided by 3, I get 4. 
If I did 48 divided by 12, I get four. If I get 64 divided by 16, I get four. So yes, this is a proportional relationship, okay? Now, if I wanted to write that relationship, or if I wanted to say, how do I write an equation for that? I am literally gonna use my equation, y equals kx, okay? Now, I only need one point. They're all the same, they're all proportional, so it doesn't matter which point I use. So I'm gonna use 312. Now, 12 is my y is equal to k times three, okay? So if I needed to get an equation from this graph, I'm gonna take what I know. I know my y and I know my x. I wanna know what my k is. My k is not gonna be four because you'll see, okay? Well, actually it is four. Um, so I would divide by three. It is gonna be four, but I would do it this way too. Divide by three, divide by three, and I get four is equal to k. So that means y is equal to four x, okay? So whatever I know, I can come up with the equation. If I know the equation, I can come up with K. If I know K, I can come up with the equation, okay? So first of all, I have to see if it's proportional. Let's say that I had a different table, okay, where this is time and this is distance again. Okay, so let's say it took me one minute to run 0.5 miles, okay? It took me two minutes to run 0.75 miles. It took me three minutes to run 1.2 miles, okay? Now, is that proportional? I don't know. What I would do is I would say is 0.5 over one equal to 0.75 over two and would that be equal to 1.2 over three? Okay, so 0.5 over one is a half over one is one half. Is 0.75 divided by two one half? No, okay, these are not the same. So I would say, no, these are not equal. This is 0.4, this was 0.5, and this is, I don't know what it is, 0.35. Um, so no, these aren't equal. So this is not a proportional relationship. I can't write an equation because there's no K. If I don't have a K, I can't write an equation, okay? So there's not an equation. I can write an equation sometimes, but I can't write a proportional equation, okay? So that would not work. That's not proportional. On a graph, okay? If I have a graph, and I'm gonna have to try and make a, I'm gonna use a graph out of the book, okay? Um, this was actually Holbert problem number two on lesson 10. So if I looked at this graph, okay, it's saying the amount of almonds and grams and oats, okay? Um, so I would check, is it proportional? So are my okay, uh, y over x all equal? So I picked two points on here. I've got four and 100, and I've got one, whatever that was, it was 25, okay? Is 100 over four equal to 25 over one? If I divide that out, I get 25. If I divide that out, I get 25. So yes. So there's two things that has to be for um, a graph. It's a straight line. So in order for it to be proportional, so graphs must be y over x, all must be the same. They'll reduce to the same. So example, for example, on my point, I had the point 125, and I had the point on my graph for 100. I did y over x. Did that equal 100 over four? And yes, it did on that particular graph, okay? So it has to be that, and it has to go through the point zero, zero, okay? If it doesn't go through the point zero, zero, it's not proportional, okay? So as you can see on this graph still, it did. It went through this point. It was a straight line. And my y over x's were exactly the same, okay? So that's how I would know if that's proportional or not. 
trying to find one that's not proportional enough. Hopefully show you. Um, I can't find one in the book that's not proportional. So, all right. So, and it has to be a straight line. Those are the three things you have to have for something to be proportional. So this and this, if I had two graphs, okay. Here's this graph. And here's this graph. If I'm looking at these graphs, this one is proportional. This one, because it's not through the point zero, zero, is not proportional. Okay, so that's kind of when you're looking at a graph, if it's a straight line, my line's not the straightest, but you get the idea, it will always be proportional. If it's not a straight line, it is not proportional. Okay, so for example, when we, on this graph, neither of, Raffy, neither of those would be proportional because that's not straight, so it's not proportional. And I know this one's not proportional because it doesn't go through the point zero, zero. Okay, so that's how you're gonna tell if on a graph, if something's proportional or not proportional. Okay, so equation, you have to have a K, and on a graph, it has to be proportional or not proportional. Okay, all right. Now, I just wanna go over a couple of the problems that I saw that a lot of people got wrong on the homework, okay? So I'm gonna do that kind of quick because I'm running out of time here. All right, so if I'm looking at this problem in here, and I've already done these, so I just wanna show you. Um, it was question one. I noticed a lot of people got wrong. So this one said, what is the constant of proportionality in this graph? Okay, so what I did is I took a couple points. I took a point I know. It's telling me that the cost for six months is $47.94, and there is a proportional relationship. So in the directions, it's telling me it's proportional. So if I want to know what K is, I'm going to take the point. Only point I know is this one, okay? So I know it's proportional. It's telling me that in the directions. So what I did is I said 47, my Y, over my X of 6. And I just divided that out. And I got 7.99, okay? So that means I just divided by 6. I divided this out, and it would be over 1. So I put the point in right here, $7.99, I'm assuming, for one month, okay? So that's how I know it's proportional. B asked me, what does the constant of proportionality tell us about the situation? Well, I know K was $7.99. What it's telling me about the situation is that it costs $7.99 for every month of the subscription. Two months would be double that. Three months would be triple that. So that's what it's telling me, that it costs that much per month, okay? All right, and it just said, right, at least three more points on the graph. So all I did is I took my 799 over one, I multiplied it by 10. I got 10, 10, 10, <laughs> 10 is 10 and seven. I got 10 and 79.90, I multiplied it by 10. So I could put any point on that graph. I did 10 months would be 79.90. And then I just doubled that and did 20. So did this times two, this times two. And I got 20 months would be 59.80. And as you see, if I connect all these points, because I know it's proportional, they will make a straight line, okay? Now, if I wanna write the equation for that, I know K is 7.99. So it says write an equation that represents the relationship between the cost and the month. My cost is Y. So it's saying, instead of Y, remember it's Y equals KX always. But now it's telling me instead of y, I'm going to use c for cost because that's where my y-axis is. I know what my constant of proportionality is. This would be the amount. Oops, that's not it. It's m. Sorry, they used m. I used x again. So it's saying the cost is seven dollars ninety-nine cents per month. Okay, that's how I would write that equation. So it's. Not that they're that hard, they're just, they're a little, there's a lot to them, and I understand that. There's a lot to this, okay? All right, the other one I saw that a lot of people had trouble with, I think was number four. Oh, it was also number four. 
what information do you need to write an equation? Well, if you know it's proportional, okay? You either need one x value and one y value to find k, okay? So I said you need either one x and one y, or you need k. So I need either this, or I need the constant of proportionality, okay? I need to know the constant of proportionality. Whatever it is, I can put it into an equation. I'm gonna abbreviate that because I ran out of room, okay? Because every equation is gonna fit this. If it's proportional, every equation is gonna fit y equals k over x, okay? All right, and then on number lesson, um, Lesson 11, I think it was. I'm trying to see which one I remember. Um, <laughs> so from a table, I think this was the one, okay? When we did Tyler's walk. No, that wasn't the homework one. Oh, a lot of people got number three wrong. And um, actually, I'm going back to the one we just just on. A lot of people got number three wrong. That's what I was thinking of. The friendship release one, I, I, I understand why you got it wrong because it's a little bit confusing and you're thinking you tie a knot thing. It's shorter, you tie a knot, it gets shorter. Um, the way that they're explaining it is you have a bunch of knots, you tie one and one, one and the next. And yes, it's going to be a proportional relationship. I would not ask you this type of question on a test though, so don't worry about that. Yes, it was proportional because you have the same number of knots and the same number of rows. So the knots are always multiples of the rows, okay? So that was a question that I know a lot of people got wrong. All right, so um, hopefully that'll help. We're gonna work on it a little bit more this week and we have next week and I will talk to you guys later, bye.